Are you still battling dizziness after your vertigo attack? This is something that happens to many individuals. Yes, there are those that have a vertigo attack, right? For a few hours and they feel horrible and then they have no residual dizziness. But for everyone else, here's what you need to understand, okay? Because many of these people, when you have it, you've had imaging, so you know there's not a tumor, you know there's not a bleed or anything like that that causes it, which is amazing. Now, the underlying cause for the initial vertigo attack could have been a viral infection or something like that, um, especially if it's lasting a few hours. But there's the aftermath part when that viral infection really isn't at play. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, the attack itself can throw off your balance centers. So let's step back and understand the balance system. The balance system is all about taking information from our senses and our brain processes it to make us stable or not. Now, what are those senses that our brain has to take in? Well, there's what's called proprioceptive, so that's going to be information from our joints and our muscles. So it's really all the musculoskeletal input, right? So it's our neck, it's our feet, it's our ankles, it's our hips, all of that. Now, realistically, this is probably lower down on the list of importance, okay? But it is still one of them. Next, we have our visual system. Now, the visual system, intuitively, we know how important it is, but it's not really looked at in the way it should be. You know, you go to an eye doctor, like, oh, okay, your prescription is good, or no, it's not. But we're really talking about, like, what happens, you know, when your brain, you make an eye movement, right? Can your brain do its job appropriately? When we measure this using computerized testing, so video oculography, we put goggles on you, we record everything, we routinely find the brain cannot coordinate these movements appropriately. And the thing is, when it can't do it the way it should, you don't take in your environment the way you should, so you now feel off and dizzy. Now, your visual system will also feed into your vestibular system. So your vestibular system is the last one where your brain gets input from. So it's our, really our orientation with the way around in space, so it's our spatial awareness. It's how we interact with gravity. Now, our vestibular input is influenced by our visual system, but also by our cervical spine. But when I say vestibular system, everyone goes, oh, inner ear crystals, inner ear crystals. Partially, yes, partially. And unfortunately, that's about the extent that the vestibular systems talk about, which really doesn't do it justice for how impactful it is. So you really need to know what's happened with all three of those. What I find is when you evaluate and treat those, that's where the best results are. And if you'd like help, I'm Dr. Z, got a clinic here in Wesley Chapel. I'm a nurse practitioner and doctor of chiropractic with advanced training in neurology. So if you'd like my help, let us know.